that it actually increases the rate of burning your um, visceral fat. It's one thing, which will then in turn make you lose more adipose fat. Uh, that's initially why I started it. Now, I said, hey, let me experiment with this because who knows, I'll just try it. What I really got out of it though were other benefits which I didn't expect, um, which is increased energy throughout the day. No, the, no longer needing to drink coffee. Um, uh, uh, like so much energy that I'm like, why are, I just want to go work out. Like uh, just crazy stuff. Uh, discipline greatly increased. So like basically there's this concept of, um, uh, I know you guys are, um, does everyone go to my mom's church here? No. no. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, I don't, but I, for the folks who do or first who are, are church based, uh, there's this kind of, and I could talk about it from a non-religious perspective too. I can talk about both from a religious perspective. If you think about it, you know, the story of story of Christ is this idea that, uh, the only way that you can get to I'm, I'm I'm using a metaphor simply, but the only way you can get to heaven is through suffering, right? So the the, the concept is that you know that true happiness through the metaphor is through this suffering, and that's why I think when Jesus was asking like in, in his last prayer or whatever that um, I think it was in the Garden of Gethsemane. When he was at talking to God, he was asking about, you know, do I essentially do I really have to go through with this? Can I deal with it? And he was, God was basically like, no, you have to endure this suffering in order for everyone to be able to go to heaven, right? So that's like kind of a, a simple premise in the Bible that uh, that uh, Jesus, the Savior, said that in order for to get to heaven, you have to suffer first, right? That's the concept. So there's a Greek, um, there's a Greek. Uh, what do you call it? It's called Stoicism. It's, it's from a Greek philosophers. And it's, it's based around the same principle where there's a quote I love, which is that no trees, um, branches can grow to heaven without its roots first growing deeper into hell. So, so that <clears throat> it's the same concept as this, the Jesus uh, stuff I'm talking about. Is that if you can, because if you think about it, when you're happy, right? A lot of times happiness comes on you. Like it kind of happens on you. Like something will happen, you'll be happy or you'll wake up happy one day or, but you're not happy 24 seven, nobody is, right? It's just impossible. So it's not like happiness is this thing that always lasts forever. It's that happiness is, comes and goes and your levels of happiness will come and go, right? That is, it's really undeniable. And there's nothing wrong with that because those happiness is an emotion and emotions change. But the idea is that we should, instead of striving for happiness, so, so people strive to be happy all the time because they think that that's what they need in life. So what do we do when we strive to be happy all the time? We seek easy pleasure. So we seek the thing that's going to give us the quick amount of happiness to solve all our stress or our unhappiness in life. So some of us binge eat, some of us eat a bunch of sugar, some of us, you know, uh, drink alcohol. Some of us watch pornography. There's a lot of things that people do because they're very pleasurable things, which you can attain very quickly in modern society, right? But that doesn't, that actually doesn't equate to long-term happiness. And, and I can imagine if you've ever dealt with that, you know that because you're unhappy with the way you feel or the way you look or whatever. So you know that those things are hindering you, yet you continually do it, right? So, and why? It's because they're easy and, and, and so people seeking after happiness will immediately go after the most pleasurable thing, which usually is the thing that will hinder their long-term happiness, right? So this is some, so I'm just showing you some things that I've been learning, right? So it's more about like uh, things I'm trying to implement is that, hey, if I can make myself better than the, before I was yesterday, that, and if I can make myself better for myself, for my wife, for my family, that will ultimately make me a better person for society, right? If you think about it, right? Because if I'm a better person at home, I'm a better person at work, I'll probably be a better functioning adult in society, right? And that maybe I can help other people like I'm trying to do now. So the concept is that that will be more sustainable happiness over time than just than always going after the short fix, right? Always going after the most pleasurable thing. So it's kind of a weird thing where by denying yourself short-term pleasures, you get a long-term sustained happiness. 
So that's the concept. So why, why cold showers? I'll be honest with you. When I wake up in the morning, the last thing I want to do is take a cold shower. But <laughs> when I go in the shower and I turn the cold water on, whether it's at the beginning or not, I, am, I face that short-term resistance to pleasure, but when I come out of it, I feel like I can do anything. Like, so the concept is like, I'm, I, I'm always like, it's, it's just one way of denying yourself short-term pleasure for, for a better gain, for a long-term gain. Because what you get out of it is you get a greater sense of discipline and self-confidence, right? That when I'm at work now, hey, I just, I just took a cold shower and it really, really sucked. I can do anything. Like it's like a really weird thing that I did not want to do this today. Like everything in my brain told me not to do it. But when, because your brain is always trying to be comfortable, always, it always wants to be comfortable, but you can't grow if you're always comfortable. So, so, so like, it's just a way of, it first started off because I wanted to experiment with trying to burn more body fat. And then it turned into like, oh, I'm getting all these other life kind of benefits of confidence and energy and then it becomes yeah i don't want to do it but now i'm getting addicted to it because i like starting off every day with a win it's like i'm facing a challenge every day and i'm winning immediately so then when i then when i have a craving 